in Vegas, joined now by Mr. Keith Urban. So good to Hi, see Katie. you. It was good to see you too. So you've got a whole run of shows here at the the Coliseum at yeah. Caesar's Palace. Um, I guess my first question, the obvious one, is why Vegas and why now? All the time it felt right to come and play here, and I love this room. This room's quite special, acoustically and uh, visually, the whole vibe that they've created in here is amazing. Yeah, we got to see the show last night. It was so good. Oh, thank you. I want to talk about your opening night because you posted a video. Uh, you said it was spiritually righteous, yeah. huge, and euphoric. Hi, Vegas. It's Keith here uh, in the car. I just came off stage. Uh, Coliseum Caesar's Palace. First night tonight uh, for our 2020 run. And it was, it was spiritually righteous, huge, like euphoric. It was totally euphoric tonight. It was such a good energy in the room. So everybody that came out and sang and danced and brought crazy signs and just let it go tonight. Thank you. Sounds yeah. like you had a pretty good time. <laughs> it was great. Well, this room has that thing to it, you know, because it's... I, I, the first time we played here in September last year for a couple of nights, and I was really taken by what it felt like a three venues in one. It's an arena stage. It, hands down, massive crazy arena size stage you've got a lot of predominantly theater seating and then you've got this club standing area all down on the floor that you're playing it's like it takes you right back to the original club days for me so it's like all three blended into one room it's amazing yeah i saw this cute post your basis extraordinaire jerry flowers posted of you guys doing this pre-show warm-up i think oh, i heard yeah. a little 80s hulk yeah, hogan so, yeah. what <laughs> night um <clears throat> a friend of mine had a uh, a cassette in his boom box of um hulk hogan's hulkamania workout from 1985 it's hysterical to riot and it's just the audio cassette so i found a copy and took it into the dressing room before the gig and we got into hulkamania mode yeah 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 you're in that mode. what's next maybe jane fonda olivia newton john we cranked you know? a little actually we cranked some albus last night i was okay. in vegas of course it was really ear-splittingly loud, and we had the visuals to go with it. Elvis on stage and the whole jumpsuit. It was a vibe. Yeah, yeah, it was really Hey, it was whatever good. it takes. He was right. crazy good. Yeah, he was. More coming up with Keith. Back to the countdown. with four-time Grammy winner Keith Urban doing a run of shows here at this beautiful theater. Um, let's talk about the theater itself, this theater, this audience. Like, how did you craft this show specifically for this space? I mean, it's, it's a work in progress still. I mean, and that's what I love about it. I think it'll stay that way. It's, it's The show's quite malleable. It's very... Um, I didn't want a, a, a rigid, structured show that's exactly the same night after night after night. Um, when you've got a lot of production, you have a certain amount of structure you have to keep, you know. But um, we've got a lot of elements in the show that allow us to make spontaneous calls on a song, um, do something on the fly, you know, even grabbing out an acoustic and doing something. So we've got a lot of um, new music coming out this year, and this is going to be a great place to slip a few of those in probably even before they're released oh good that's mm. exciting mm. um I, I noticed some great fan interaction uh in fact you even gave a guitar away that's yeah. so cool is that yeah. something you think you'll be doing every night yeah possibly <laughs> don't come for the free guitar <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a nice guitar <laughs> yeah i play a few songs and i always let them know it's slightly used uh so that now it's, it's legit it's a real yeah. thing yeah yeah I love the stripped down part of the show where you're really down here in the audience, just you and the acoustic guitar. Um, in fact, you did uh, You'll Think of Me, mm. and that might have been the most powerful moment in the whole show for me. I, I just love that. <laughs> You just got so emotional in that song. Yeah. It's been a while since you performed it, maybe? Years and years, yeah. It hasn't been in the 
I mean, that song came out in, I don't know, 02, 03 or something, a long time ago. Uh, and it just eased its way out of the set over the years. Um, but a lot of people were asking us to put it back in, so I thought, we'll, we'll just do an acoustic version. Now, everybody seems to know every syllable of the song. Oh, by the way, it is cat. Yes. Take your cat and leave. <laughs> I swear, not cap. Cat. <laughs> Take your cat and leave my sweater. You know, actually, when that song came out, I had merchandise made that had a picture of a cat and a picture of a sweater and two arrows that did that. And I thought, oh, people are going to love this. Nobody knew what it was. So we didn't sell one. So you've still got a box I in got your basement. I've boxes of them, yeah. I'll Nobody take one. one. Come yeah. for that. All right. <laughs> More with Keith coming up. has a pretty cool anniversary actually this year it has been two decades since your first number one hit no. yeah i know wow. that's crazy yeah. i know nobody's ever going to forget what it feels like to have their first number one yeah. but what i find interesting about this of course i'm talking about but for the grace of god go i and i know in the writing session initially you didn't think you were getting a hit out of that day right no not at all i wrote that with uh, two girls from the go-go's and we just wrote the song, I went and did a demo of it, and then we were pitching the demo around to people. I was hoping somebody would cut it. <laughs> and Isn't that the song crazy? sat around for two or three years, I think, and my manager at the time, when I was making that first record, said, oh, what about that Grace of God song? That's pretty good. I'm like, okay. So, like, crazy. And here we are. Here we are, They yeah. launched something huge. You never know, right? Yeah. No, you don't know. Never. Yeah. All right. We'll be back with more. string of shows here at the Coliseum in Caesars Palace. This is such an iconic venue. I know I don't need to tell you, but for anyone watching who maybe doesn't know, um, Celine Dion has played here, Cher, Elton John, Bette Midler, Mariah Carey, Shania, yeah. and now you. Oh, yeah. I want, do you think the walls have maybe absorbed some of that magic over the years? Do you sort of feel that? Uh, everywhere in Vegas, I think, yeah. it's a magic town. I mean, but this, yeah, this, this venue, they built it right. You know, they really did. To have this many seats in a place that Every seat has not only amazing sound, but they can see everything crystal clear. It's extraordinary. I wonder how it compares to other venues that you would typically play in. Like, what, what are you definitely noticing you're getting out of this here? Um, I think just the sound. I mean, for me, the, the only other place that sounds this good is the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville. It didn't quite hold as many people. Yeah. So um, it's extraordinary what they've done here. How do you go about achieving? You've said that you want... Specifically, you said about every person here, no matter where you are in the arena, you have to feel like you're in it, in yeah. this show. Yeah. How do you do that? Because this is a, still a really big space. Uh, well, it is, but I think the sound alone makes you feel like you're right there. It, it literally feel, you feel like you're right at the front. In some ways, the, everybody's sitting or up in these higher areas have an even better view, especially of the production, because you have a bigger, broader overview of everything. Yeah. Um, but I think, I always think, for me, every venue is just one big club, you know? So I just play like it's a big club. Yeah. And whether there's a hundred people or, you know, thousands, tens of thousands, it's just one massive big club to me. Put on a good show. Yeah. You guys are gonna wanna come see it, I promise. All right, more Keith coming up right now. Back to the countdown. <laughs> Not to get too somber for a moment, but I can't talk to you and not bring up, of course, what's been going on in Australia with the, um, the horrible wildfires. And you yeah. and Nicole have done a lot to try to help those efforts. Um, what has that been like for you? To, to It's devastating for all of us, yeah. but I've never even been there. And, and I know how much the people mean to you. It's your home. What has that been like to see that? They're crazy. I mean, it's just um, unprecedented fires like they've never seen before um so we you know we wanted to do our bit of course because there have been so much of the work that gets done is it's rural firefighters volunteers and they do they risk so much you know for so many people and uh so we we donated to them and it's been actually incredible to see so much outpouring from all over the world i've never been contacted so much about an event like i have people going you guys okay is everything all right and yeah. uh jason aldean called me and he's like hey if you want anything to get are you doing a concert let me know we'll be there and 
It's an incredible outpouring of support. It's beautiful. Yeah. We just got to keep praying for rain, too. Yeah. More yeah. rain. Absolutely. Thank you for all you're doing. Yeah, you bet. All right, back to the countdown. Vegas, where he's doing a whole string of shows, and I'm wondering if, have you found anything fun to do when you're not on stage with the family in Vegas? Everything's fun down here. I mean, there's so much to do. It's great. The kids love Circus Circus, and there's, like, so many shows on, yeah. like, even, even during the day, and uh, great restaurants, great shopping, it's just great everything. Have the girls been to see this show yet? No, but they came down to rehearsal. Okay. Uh, we, we were rehearsing here for a few days before opening night, and they came down um, one of those days. Because you have to get there at thumbs up. I think up. they spent more time at Circus Circus than they did here, but... What? It's all right. It's a tough run. <laughs> we need a puppy update, too, because I think the last time you talked to Hot 20, you were, you were starting to warm up, too. It's Julian, right? Julian. Oh, he's great. Yeah. Oh, I'm totally... I'm in. I'm, I'm hook, line, and sink. I'm in. Love did you ever think you had a little dog like No. That? No, not at all. <laughs> There's no no. No. Yeah, I'm like hanging on to this little guy driving the car. So, you know, what, what happened? But he's, he's just adorable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Back with more Keith in a minute. Back to the countdown. Urban, who now joins a long list of uh, very established Vegas performers, um, quite an elite list. I understand that you reached out to Bette Midler, is that true, to get some advice on... No, we were at a dinner party one night that she was at, and I said, we're going to be doing this Vegas run, you got any advice? And she's like, oh yeah, yeah, you've got to eat these pastels or whatever, you know, like to, to keep all, yeah. Cop drops kind of Yeah, things. but they just took to create lots of, um, you know, what do you call it? Saliva? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds horrible, doesn't it? Keep, keep it there, but you need a bit of words. She's like, you saliva. need more spit in your mouth. But she you said, please. I said, do they work really well? She goes, honey. She's like, I took one of them and went. And she goes, I was spitting all over the front rows, like Niagara Falls. Um, <laughs> but they work great. So there you all go. All these little, it's all about hydration here, yeah, isn't it? Is. it? Yeah. <laughs> you need more spit and hydration. That's right. What about like uh, Brooks and Dunn, Reba, Garth? They've, they've all done they lots both, of shows She's right both reached out. They're like, hey, you liking that room? I'm like, it's fantastic. So, yeah. yeah. They're giving you tips on where to eat and stuff. I haven't got any of those yet. But yeah, but I'm, you know, because I'm sort of coming in and out right now, so yeah. I'm not spending that yeah, much time. Yeah, you're, you're not hunkered year, down but, living here for the year. But. but over, you know, over the course of this year, we'll end up spending a lot of time here. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, more Keith coming up. has a new album you're working on, right? Yeah. Is this going to be the 11th studio album? Yeah, well, the Ranch album was, I guess, one of those. Sure. So if I go solos only, it'll be the 10th album. Wow. Just a good one. Um, but yeah, I've been working a lot in the last yeah. year on tons of music, lots and lots. So um, we'll start putting it out this year. And as I said, maybe slipping in a few little newbies here in the Vegas the run. Show. Yeah. Well, and you uh, you re-released We Were with Eric Church, of yeah. course, one of the writers on the song. And, and I know you've collaborated with him before. But how many collaborations might we see on this new album? Uh, there's one definite. Uh, and maybe another one in the works. So a second one, possibly. I love yeah. it. And um, I think this spring you're going to be going all over Europe, right? Doing a huge tour yeah, yeah. all through Europe in May. Yeah, yeah, 17 or 18 shows or something, quite a bit. Um, it's a busy year. I'm really looking forward to getting back there, though, because we had such a such a blast last year. Yeah. So, yeah. You do so well over there. In fact, the CMA is recognizing you as one of uh, the country artists that has had such big impact internationally. You know, our genre has always done that back in yeah. the day. I mean, because me growing up in Australia, I, everybody came, Charlie Bride and Dolly Parton and Willie Nelson and Dom Liams. I yeah. mean, he's, Don's bigger, in, he was, was bigger internationally than in the States. So it's extraordinary that so many of those artists have always toured internationally. Yeah. And it's happening again now, Paisley and there's tons of artists all get out there. I know, I love it. it globally. It's Let's really take good. it worldwide. Yeah, love exactly. It. All right, more Keith coming up. Back to the countdown. Welcome back to Hot the Countdown, hanging out with reigning ACM Entertainer of the Year, Keith oh, Urban. We have that for a few more minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I guess down. we find out in a couple of weeks, right, That's what right. the new nominations are. Yeah. How are you feeling about this year? 